Hey adventurers, we're out here in the beautiful Hell's Canyon area outside of, where are we outside of? Imnaha. Imnaha. Snake River. Yeah, up in the northeast corner of Oregon. Anyway, we're going to show you today our flex build out. This is how we kind of just roll wherever we want to go. This we is just... a 2011 Ford Flex Limited. Oh yeah. Okay. Good, good call. Got our hammocks up already. Woohoo. But we're going to kind of show you the different stages that we would have our, our car, our flex, our camper, um, while, you know, just the different stages we would have um, during our adventure. So, okay, we're going to start with drive mode, I guess you would say. So we already put the Reflectix in just because we're here and we just kind of did that. But well, we often drive with the back, the back second and third pillar rows Reflectix in, including the very back. If it's if you're really hot outside, we'll do that. Yeah, kind of when we're not really in the city, but out like, you know, out off off road. This is, um, by the way, this is not all wheel drive. We are thinking about um, upgrading to a newer year of Flex and getting the all wheel drive. Uh, we also tow a trailer with this, so we do have a hitch on it. So we kind of want to keep this vehicle. But anyway, um, go ahead, babe, show him. This is the captain's chair. This is where he drives. And we have our water bottles, of course, there. He keeps um, some binoculars in here. Um, let's see. We have little cubbies there. Anyway, we have our um, little trash can that sits in between us while we're driving down the road. You can kind of see our little snack bag right behind us. And then on my side, I put in, you can see it. They're like um, conduit boxes that you get at the hardware store. I keep my glasses in there. And then in my pocket over there, I keep um, a big old Atlas map thing. I kind of like the visual of that. And um, yeah. And then, whoa. Um, so that's kind of the drive mode here up front in the cockpit. Oh, we do have some levels on here that we hid, which is kind of cool. We have one there and one on our back. And then, yeah, one on the back. The and then way. we have the box when we go on longer trips. We're on about a week trip right now. If it's a weekend trip, we don't take the box. Yeah, we don't take the box. And realistically, we could avoid taking the box on longer trips, but it just avoids having to move stuff back and forth to the front seats if you take a box and you have a lot of like fishing gear, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So you'll see as we're driving along, we'll show you how this whole thing sets up, but we have some things we keep in the pocket here. Here's another little conduit box. If you can see these just pull out. You just get them from the hardware store. They actually fit. And he's got a little um, headlamp, earplugs in there. Um, we also have some little clip things that we fold. We'll show you later how we fold our Reflectix down and we clip those in. And, storage. Yep, it's just storage. And then, yep, here's our bed while we're driving. And we'll, bag. Yep, with all the snacks. And then we'll just kind of go to the back and I'll show you what's going on back here. All right, so while we're driving, we've got kind of our kitchen set up back here. Actually, not kind of, we do. Um, kind of hard to explain. Okay, so the third row in the Flex has this really deep window well, which is kind of hard to see because we got stuff in there, but um, it holds a shelf. We have some no skid pad underneath the shelf. I don't know that you really need it, but it does help um, from, you know, marring up the car. But um, so we have the shelf, which we'll show you later, makes into a table off the back of our flex. But at nighttime, it's nice. You can put your toiletries and stuff and it's over just over your mm -hmm. feet when you're sleeping and it doesn't get in the way at all. Mm -hmm. um, so we have our clothes bags up here they're attached so they don't slide around while we're driving we sort of just figured that out um little bag here that we have keep trash bags in uh extra bags up here this is where we keep our reflectex and we'll show you here we've got some venting that we uh use for our side windows also yeah so when we're traveling that all, that all stores 
this all hooks up into here and so it all the reflectic is stored up into the sunroof bin on the third on the third third row yeah right so we'll show you we have kind of this is like our nightstand um our little stove our water cutting board sink and those are all of our dishes we don't really take a lot so that and then we have this little box down here is twofold we carry we have seasoning and silverware and that kind of stuff in here mm -hmm. but it also is the base of our table which we'll show you in a little bit right and then i don't even know where this came from this like weird little thing we clipped it on here we've got a dish rag in there we've got some paper towels and a um, tablecloth yeah it's like a hanging back seat holder yeah and then I have a mirror back here. So like when I want to get ready, I just set this up here and I can hang my little, um, what do you call it? My toiletry bag there. Okay. So let's show them how we, when we would pull up, we'd put the reflectix in and I'll show you how we get ready for, for the bed. Super easy. So we come around. He just takes the bag. This is the food bag. Yep. A lot of snack bag. <laughs> and then we just kind of um, for, put the seat forward, Sean. We just would put the seat. No, I don't even need to move that really. Just put the, yeah, the just kind of forward. And then our little nightstand thing. It's right between the seats. Nope. Right here. So move the pillows for me and I'll. Yeah, just move the pillows now. So there's our little nightstand. And this holds all our our little uh, power supplies. Our fans. Our little fans, our, our battery chargers, watch charger. This we keep, you know, ibuprofen and fiddle some toiletries and stuff right here to get to quickly. Our water bottles sit up here. Our phones when we're charging at night sit up there. Mm-hmm. And then... Oh, and the bottom drawer has, I have little coffee and creamer stuff in there. And so I don't have to dig around for that stuff in the morning. It's like right there. But anyway, and then you just pull up. That's it. So you move two things and you're ready for bed. Um, over there, he's got a little thing. He holds his shoes, his slides at night. And there they are. There's the wet wipes. Yep, some slides, wet wipes. And we have stuff up. We have another. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, hang on. We'll show that. And then I keep my little coffee cup right there. Here's another little bag. Keep some toilet tissue, paper towels, just some extra stuff. We have some um, microfiber towels because we actually have a shower in this. And we'll show you that, too. Um, but we have these cool things that we hang up on the ceilings. They're just hooked into the window vents. Um, at night, when we get in, you can show them that, babe. We've downloaded movies. You can and we suction, just, or there's we various have, styles of these that suction up into here. Yep. And Hold then, your phone. And then we just lay here and watch a movie. <laughs> and then we also have a little light just turns on and there you go we also have fairy lights we can put in here I didn't do that for this trip and then we have another light that we can run off of a power pack for USB we have this thing which is cool it attaches to it's supposed to have if you had four of those handlebars I didn't have one so I attached it to that really sturdy swing arm on the um, visor but this is a cool thing like at night when we get in, if we've been out, we had sweatshirts or whatever, and we want to be able to get to them early in the morning, we just stick them up here. Oh, and those are our little mouth guards because, you know, you're sleeping in close quarters. You got to be quiet. So that and then earplugs, of course. Anyway, that's sleep mode. Move two bags. No big deal. We're going to pause this for a sec and we'll be right back. Okay. So now... We're going to do kind of show you our bed setup, just kind of the bed in general. Oops, sorry. 
So go ahead, babe, tell them what's... So through trial and error, we had a different mattress pad in here before that was one that just went the length. And then we realized it'd be nice to have one that actually folded into thirds so we could get into our other section. So here's what we have. So if you just move the pillows down, and you don't always have to do that to get them quick, but, but uh, we made this, this is one of those that folds into third sections. We got this from Amazon. I think it cost us about 125 bucks, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's about a, it's a four inch pad. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's like a full size pad and we just, and we just cut the, Trim the back end about four inches, I think, off each side. Yeah, I think it's like length. 52 or 53 inches wide. Four. It's almost 54. Okay. Yeah, because we wanted to take advantage of the full width so that, you know, when you've got two people in here. But it narrows down by our feet, which is fine. And that's no big deal. One of the cool things about the Flex is um, we didn't have to build a platform. Like, the seats just go totally flat. And, yeah, no big deal. And uh, ours actually the, has a center council. We have, I mean, not all of them yeah. got this. They made these up to 2016 was the last year they made the refrigerator you can freezer option. Lift that up a little bit. And so, as you can see in ours, we actually have a. It actually has a refrigerator freezer. It's about the size of oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe get about four or five water bottles in there. Yeah. But it actually freezes. It's not just a refrigerator. So the nice parts about that is you can actually put water bottles in there, put it on freezer, and while you're driving create your own ice. You freeze the water bottles and then you can transfer those into your ice chest, which we keep under the seat right here. So you can create your own ice for longer trips, which is really, really unique. Right. Cause we don't use ice. We just use frozen water bottles. So we just kind of rotate. And as they, as they thaw, they become our drinkable water also. Correct. So to take up the gap between the first row and the second row, we had to have something and Hey, storage is a premium. So we actually had this, um, it's actually, it plugs in. We don't, we could if we want to, we just don't. Um, we had this fridge, it just like fit perfect in this space. We did put it on blocks um, to kind of raise it up so that it was flush. But anyway, yeah, just open it and show them. It's just a, it's just a regular cooler. We got the frozen water bottles and such in there and yeah. And, and then, it stays, the great thing about having the cooler down here, you, it might seem awkward that you have to lift the mattress to get to stuff, but the really nice part is it's insulated by the mattress and all this, so it stays mm -hmm. really cool, and ice stays in here for a long time. And if you have air conditioning on and you put it on by level, it's actually hitting cold air against the bottom to keep this area cold also. So it's just another way to keep your ice chest from warming up and melting all the ice and stuff inside. Okay, and then show them. Should we go around the other okay. side here? Yeah, or well, I can stay on this side. I'll show you too. Full disclosure, uh, emergencies. Um, there is a female urinal tucked down in here. That works perfect. And okay, no more need to explain that. Okay. And yeah, that's the center council. It just folds down. I put a little... Um, towel on there to kind of keep it you know from marring up and then in here and we just use that little extra lid thing because it kind of flattens things out but anyway this is our dry goods storage yeah so this is where we have our you know cup of noodles we have some bread we have cereal we of course keep our you know the mm -hmm. mountain house uh pre-dried meals for quick and easy stuff canned goods are down here canned bean corn that kind of stuff or beer our butane. Oh, yep, butane. All that's, of course, stored right here. Yep, and this is a long trip, so we have a lot more food. If we were on a shorter trip and we don't have the um, the box up top, we don't have as much food in there. Oh, here, yeah, let's flip that back down. We don't have as much food in there, and we kind of can keep more things like our camp chairs and stuff like that. That's our, up in the box right now. Anyway, he's just putting the bed back together. Okay, so we're going to show you two. I'm going to come around, or he's going to come around to my side. We're going to show you how we keep things cool at night while we're sleeping. Um, gosh, I wish I could give credit to who credit is due. I can't remember who it was. Um, here, we'll take this out. Take this out. Sorry, my video is getting wonky. Okay, he's going to show you. So we just went to Lowe's or Home Depot, and this is gutter block. 
keep the leaves out of your gutter. Yeah, like a gutter garden. And this thing. one's made of plastic. They had them in white and brown. We bought the brown one. Um, but the cool thing about this is we discovered on the back side of this already done for us is screen material. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a mosquito block also. And if you look close here, you'll see there is a the gap. That's for your gutter line normally, but it fits yeah, perfectly. Yeah, like a channel. It fits perfectly for the window. So come on the outside here. Come on this side. Okay. So I can take this little channel here, stick it right in the channel. I think I measured it out. I don't I don't remember exactly what it was now. It's like, I don't know, 20 some inches or 30 inches or something. You can measure it out yourself, it's pretty easy. But it's square, which is nice. And you can see there's a track all the way up in here. Mm -hmm. So I can come over and go. There you go. And just like that, we are in the track. We put one on each side typically you know, on a warm night and it creates airflow through the car. So it doesn't, uh, you don't have condensation inside your windows in the morning mm -hmm. also. Um, we haven't tried this yet, but we've heard you can actually stack them. So if we make two more, which we're talking about doing, you could, you could double this and have it twice and just literally put them into each other. Right, So, but one of them costs like $2. Um, the other thing we do is we put the Reflectix, we'll put it back in the window here but then we'll just fold part of it down. Like binder clips. And then just kind of put some binder clips. You can actually lose, this is what we first started, just a little, little piece of wood off the ground. And, anyway, just hold and the, the flap. Hold the flap down to keep the airflow going. So, so that the bottom half of this window is still, you know, privacy and all that good stuff. The other thing we have, I'll come around this side. We're not gonna, we probably don't need to put it on, but we can just show them real quick. Um, is we made, we just had some, an old mosquito netting. mosquito netting, took some duct tape, some magnets around the edges. And we open the moon roof up. And we just throw that across the top. Pull it off both sides. It takes all about 10 seconds to put on usually. Yep. Especially if the other person's on the other side. Right, well, it's a two-man job usually. But we just do that. And we leave that leave that open all night long when it's warm. Keeps the bugs out, lets the air heat hot air out. So it's perfect. Okay, so that's kind of that. Now let's show them the really cool um, table. Table. So this was the shelf. We took our clothes bags down. No big deal. He's gonna show you. Just lifts the shelf. If I can see it. I see you. He just lifts it out. The first addition of this we tried, we didn't. We realized it was a little wobbly. I'm gonna come over on this side of you because it's just easier to see. So, what we did was we made this box. We actually built this little box. We're not very good at building things, but we did. And uh, we we decided to put little. Uh, these are like the old ammo box latch type things. Mm -hmm. In the hardware store for a buck and a half or something. And then this is the end of this side right there. And the reason we did that is because when we're in here, this box right here gets is wedged in really tight. It doesn't move. And so it'll give us the stability for the table. Okay. So we stick these on like this. We would lock these down. Oops, that side. There we go. And then we have like a shower curtain rod. Yeah. As your table edge. Okay. So it's um, adjustable. We drilled a little like hole underneath. Yep, just use like a wood bit. And he can adjust the length. To whatever height we want. That's a little high, but eh, whatever. All right, a little bit. There, there go. you go. Okay. And then, boom. Now we happen to be at a site that actually had a picnic table, but when you don't have one. Table off the back. Table off the back. We've cooked. We put our little stove right on the end of it. Oh, yep. We put our stove right on the end and we cook cook right off the bat, set up our chairs. Oh, yep. Speaking of chairs, we got, got these at Costco. They're like 24 bucks or something like that. These are the best because they're small. We can keep them in our dry box we used to. And, and they're high back also. So yeah, a lot of those nice little packable, packable chairs don't have a back on them. Well, they, they're just little, they're a little short back. They only go like mid to your midsection. Yeah. These go up pretty quick. As you can see, it's just like tent pole. They just bungee snap into their 
three spots. Just like that. And then this snaps in. And we have our chairs that we'll sit at and eat. And he can Just slide right into their little spots. Oh, I hear another camper coming into camp. <laughs> Possibly. Or just going by, maybe. Boom. Boom. And like you said, we have a um, picnic table here at this site. I'll just show you real quick. Picnic table. So those things came out of the back. And yeah, I just put the box with our dishes like that. Put the cutting board on top so it doesn't, this water is kind of heavy. It doesn't like kind of make the bag or the box sag. And then got a sink and there's all our dishes. Bada bing. There you go collapsible kettle. Love it. You definitely need one of those in your life. Um, and then he did the chair and believe it or not, this darn little chair, you can actually just sit here. We've actually played cards here together. Um, backgammon, whatever. We have a little bit. Yeah. Eat. We have a little bag that has games in it. And yeah, that's kind of our setup. So, um, yeah, you want to uh, show them. Come join the Flex Life. Yeah, come <laughs> join the Flex Life. So that's kind of our little setup. Okay, and then one thing here, we actually have a shower. So this is just a collapsible bucket. I have a big thing of plastic, actually two. So there's that one and then a smaller one. Um, we can get water from the river if we need to or extra water. That's yeah anyway and then so what we would do is we would take the black plastic the smaller one show them we would just clip it to here and to that one so that you know this inside area wouldn't get wet and then we would clip the bigger one and it would just go clip it sorry how to focus all the way around like that so it's just like a yeah there's like a total enclosure and then you've seen the USB shower heads. I know if you've been watching any of these types of videos, we put a magnet that went to some kind of a wise, like a security camera. Yep, put that on there. And we'll just show you. We just, oops, wrong way, babe. And just attach the shower head and bada bing, we're taking a shower. Okay, <laughs> yep, that's it. So there's the shower. And yeah, that's kind of how we roll. Um, I'm here. About five foot, ten and a half inches tall. Oh, yeah. So he's going to tell you he's, he's almost 5'11. And if you look, oh, you can see too, we just sleep with the shelf like that. We just sleep like that with our clothes bags. I took them down. To, for the, but we just sleep like that. This and mattress is well. Of space off the back still. Yep, this mattress is well over six feet long. I'm right there. Space is way more than six feet long. Yeah. And um, there you have it. So, get out you and adventure. If you have a flex, go have some fun in it. Yeah, or any SUV. Like, you don't have to have a van. You don't even have to have a minivan. Um, just make it happen. Some of the best things to see are not on paved roads. That's right. Get off the grid. All right. Bye.